Hey guys, it's Josh here with DesireTutorials.com where you can find everything for Drupal and a non-coding perspective. And right now, I'm going to show you how to back up this website from HostGator uh, control panel to GoDaddy's control panel. And right now, the first thing we have to do is come to our HostGator. You can do this for any website that you're backing up. You can either back it up on the same, same control panel or whatever, just different database and different file. So the first thing is we need the file. So we're going to come into our file manager. And we're coming to the folder that the uh, site's located, whichever it's at the root or whatever. So this one, as you can see, is in uh, my backup tutorials folder. So I went into that folder. Then I just I clicked the top one, held shift, clicked the bottom one, and I compressed everything into this backup zip. So then I'm just going to download this backup zip. I'm using a fresh install just to limit the size of the actual downloads that I have to deal with and all that. And just make things easy. So then also in our uh, from the site that we're copying or backing up, we also want to get our uh, tables that are in the uh, database. And this this way to backup is really easy because you don't it doesn't require any modules or really anything. So all of the uh, all the tables that run that site are inside this database. So I'm just going to check them all, and export it. Let's say go. I'm just gonna save those. And now from here, my downloads. You can see this is my full backup. That's all I need. And I just open up a new folder to show you. These are how all my backups go. So it's like backup one, backup two, backup three. I mean, it's that easy just to get the backups and organize them. So that's all we need for our backup from HostGator. So we can X out of all of our HostGator stuff, and now we need to come to our new control panel. We need to upload the actual files. So we're going to our file manager, or wherever you're going to put your new files. And wherever the file is going to be, or wherever you're putting them, then we're going to upload um, that backup download that we just downloaded. So with that fully uploaded, we need to come back to our uh, new control panel which is my GoDaddy and we need to uh, actually add import those tables into our new database so I'm going to go into my PHP my admin I'm going to this uh, database which is the new one I made for this uh, site tutorial I'm going to come up here and just hit uh, import and I want to just import this uh, these database files so let's go say go doesn't really give you a load bar or anything, but you do have this little whatever you call that. So once those fully import, we're completely done with our uh, database backup pretty much. And our uh, restore. So if we come to our uh, our new site, it's gonna give us an error. Oh, not found. I didn't extract any of the files, so duh. So it'll give us an error once we extract our files. So we're going to extract all those files from that zip file. And now it's going to give us this little error. It's saying uh, the user Jacob Admin, because that's not the user that's um, applied to this, uh, to this database. Because that new database I made has a new user. Uh, the database is backup and the user is backup. So we don't need to be in there anymore because we got that all done. So let's reload our uh, site. And we see we need to come into our sites. And then you have to watch out the permissions change around on these files. You want to be able to write on them. And then come into the default. And then change permissions of your settings file as well. I don't know why they, they do that. But come into your settings and uh, code edit it. Go on line 215. You can see it when it turns blue or purple, whatever color that is. You need to uh, change your database name. See, so here's our database. And mine's just backup. And remember, you can use this on any transfer to any new tables or new databases and whatever. Then my uh, username is also backup. And I believe that's still my same password. So we're going to save that. And now you just transferred your site from HostGator to uh, GoDaddy. See, so if you see, 
So I'm reading any of those. We have one on uh, HostGator at Gumby Charters as the root, and then we have one as uh, on MyBillBros.com as the root. I hope that was easy and helpful in uh, making yourself a backup of your Drupal website.